to be cautious or not to be cautious? Peter. Uh, if I may say, uh, first of all, I, I disagree with the statement a bit. And I, in fact, I disagree um, with the underlying assumptions to start with. I mean, you called growth lackluster. I think growth is not lackluster. Growth is not, boy uh, growth is not rampant. It's not, but it's not lack, but it's not yeah, Exactly, but it's not lackluster either. I mean, both in the U.S. <clears throat> and in Europe, mm. we're growing at around 2% plus. So that's not too bad. Um, and on top of that, if I may say, uh, in previous expansions, what you had is you had a big increase in leverage. Uh, you had a big increase in um, debt GDP in the private and the public sector and currently in the private sector in particular we're not seeing that so I would say it's even a bit more stable than it used to be and against that backdrop if you then look at where the bond market is pricing and where the equity market is pricing I think the big thing that the bond market has going for has currently pricing is despite that decent growth we don't get any inflation and therefore the break-evens are low and therefore the bond yields are low and therefore the market does not believe that yep. the Fed, the Bank of Canada and all the other guys can right. follow through with their promises. But Peter, you, you could argue that 2% given the cheap money for the last 10 years is lackluster. Well, not necessarily again, because first of all, you have to recognize where's growth coming from. Growth is coming from um, typically productivity, and productivity has been declining, granted. But then also in the past, it has come from re-leveraging and taking on more debt. This is not what we wanted, because it led us into a big collapse. And in fact, we wanted yep. something that's a bit more stable, and that's what yep. we got. So therefore, I think what we currently have is we have a different kind of growth. 